the Hisense U8H boasts the company's new mini LED technology that is now officially a mainstream option when looking at purchasing a TV. Mini LED tech has been around for a while already and while OLED panels still reign supreme when it comes to how black an image can go, mini LEDs go the other way and can get extremely bright. In fact, testing out this Hisense U8H, I've never reviewed a TV that managed to get as bright as this. I was blown away at how incredibly bright this panel can get and it changes everything you do on the TV. The Hisense U8H comes in three sizes. You can pick up the 55 inch model for 20,999 Rand, the 65 inch model for 29,999 Rand, and the 75 inch model for 44,999 Rand. The bigger the U8H TV you buy, the more dimming zones you get and the better the local dimming experience is. So keep that in mind. Before I start, be sure to check out the two previous reviews of the Hisense U6H and the U7H. I'll leave links in the description below. So far the entire range has offered something for everyone with the U6H being the perfect entry level TV and the U7H offering a fantastic panel and some great gaming features. Hisense has packed the U8H in a similar box in South Africa, but unlike the U6H and U7H, this TV uses a very different stand, which actually required a bit of brain power this time. Opening it up, I removed the top compartment, a packet containing the remote and instruction manuals, and a chunky plastic shell. At first I had no clue what this piece of plastic was, but it turns out it's part of the U8H's stand. I laid the TV down flat on my couch, which was supported by soft cushions and the pad of protectors on the side of the TV, and started assembling the stand. Installing the stand required the combined efforts of a heavy chunk of metal and three bags of screws. I screwed the plastic shell into the back of the TV using the first bag of screws, then slotted the heavy metal stand into the plastic base, added the additional screws, and then tightened it all together using the last batch of screws. It might sound confusing, but it really wasn't, and Hisense has included a quick guide in the box that will help you out. Like other TVs, I peeled off the plastic protecting it everywhere and plugged it in and turned it on. As I mentioned, the stand on the Hisense U8H is quite different and that's because the TV is a lot heavier than the rest. So Hisense had to completely change how it's held up. The stand means the TV is much lower to the cabinet too at 5cm. However, even using my soundbar, I was still able to control the TV with it being right in front of the sensor. The stand also doubles up as cable management compartment. The plastic shell opens up, you can feed your cables through the holes, and you can close it again to hide your cables away. Apart from that, the Hisense U8H features a bulky and expensive looking design. It sort of reminded me of my first plasma TV back in the day from Hisense. From the power cable that is now a larger kettle cord compared to the figure 8 cable used on the other TVs, to the fabric finishing at the bottom of the TV. This is one heavy and hefty television. When it comes to ports, on the left you'll find all the ports including the two HDMI 2.1 ports with 4K 120Hz support, two HDMI 2.0 ports, an antenna, USB 3.0, audio combo and mini AV. Near that there's also another USB 2.0 port, Ethernet and digital audio port. Right on the other side you'll find the power port. Hisense has also included a full speaker set in this U8H and you can see the subwoofer right on the back. Believe it or not, there's a giant speaker hole in the back of the TV where the speaker is found. I'll share more on this later. Overall, I think the design of the Hisense U8H is quite nice. It is a thick panel due to the mini LED tech and the speaker, but it looks clean. I like the fabric mesh at the bottom too. It looks extremely premium. The Hisense U8H is quite a different TV and it's quite difficult to compare it to the other two models in the lineup. For starters, it packs an extremely different type of technology. Instead of using LED strips and zones at the back of the panel to light up the display, this TV uses mini LEDs. Think of mini LED tech as tiny little lights behind your TV panel. These lights brighten up and down as your TV works, which forms the image you see in front of you. Mini LED tech also comes with its own perks. First off, the technology is much cheaper than OLED. That's why you can pick up a 65 inch Hisense U8H for half the price of a 65 inch OLED TV, for example. Mini LED also doesn't have the heating issue Issues, which means the pixels can get a lot brighter, resulting in a punchier image. Of course, Mini LED does come with its own downsides, and blooming is one of them. The more Mini LED zones you have on the TV, the less blooming you'll see, and the Hisense U8H packs 160 dimming zones on the 65-inch model. For the most part, the Hisense U8H handles its local dimming quite well. Even on images where there was one single light turned on, the backlight was barely visible, even in a pitch black room. This meant that black levels on content were able to get a lot darker than LED TVs, resulting in a deeper, darker image. 
There is obvious blooming on this panel, especially when you have a very bright image contrasting against the black background. But it looks good considering the circumstances. Blooming is more visible from the sides compared to other TVs. I notice this more frequently compared to the other local dimming TVs on the market. You'll want to keep this in mind when placing your TV down. While the image remains bright and punchy from the side, it does have a bit more clouding and bloom than other non-milli LED TVs. But the blooming is a small sacrifice to pay for the U8H's best feature and that's brightness. This is a very bright TV and things look fantastic on it. The mini LED tech means that this TV can get brighter than other TVs and you can see it. I measured 910 nits in a 100% window. To put this into perspective, when I was running tests on this panel, some scenes were bright enough to light up my entire room as if I was running a lamp or an alternative light source. The brightness levels also help enhance all sorts of content. Fireworks in the scene brighten up so much more. Lightning in the sky lights up the room and you can see the stark difference between bright objects in the scene and darker ones. I especially noticed these high brightness levels when playing Destiny 2. Every particle effect stood out on the display. My grenade exploding saw purple flashes shoot up in brightness in comparison to the rest of the scene. If your HDR settings are set up properly, this TV looks incredible thanks to these mini LEDs. Speaking of gaming, the Hisense U8H comes with a robust set of gaming features including VRR, FreeSync, ALLM, 4K 120Hz and Dolby Vision Gaming. These peak highlights and panel brightness help make these modes even better. Running Dolby Vision Gaming on the Xbox Series X games looked stunning. The little blue lights on Gears 5 lit up brighter than ever. You can especially see these mini LEDs working when playing games like Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Ori lit up the screen and his attack sparkled brighter than ever. I cannot stress how magical bright objects look on this television. While the TV does make use of mini LED tech, you can't use FreeSync with local dimming due to the TV's panel. However, you can still get the full close to 100 nits of brightness when using FreeSync or VRR. Input lag is also decent, I measured 8 milliseconds when using game mode. I need to mention that out of the box, the Hisense U8H needs some tweaking. Due to the mini LED lights, the color profiles aren't your typical presets. I usually change things to standard, but even then, the whites were still a bit blue. I found tweaking it to warm one made things look a bit warmer, and avoided the blue colors. There are also some great preset profiles on the TV, including Filmmaker Mode and Dolby Vision RQ that automatically tweaks the TV as you watch the content depending on your room. The panel itself is also good. Compared to other similar TVs, it stands out as the best you can get in SA for a number of reasons. It has a black level of 0.01 candela per square for a higher contrast ratio of 198,000 to 1. Lastly, it goes without saying that it is brighter than every other TV available on the market too. In a 25% window, I measured 2,050 nits. There's also no noticeable DSE on the panel itself. The Hisense U8H includes a large subroof at the back of the panel that helps deliver a better sound experience. Hisense has also included two upward firing speakers on the top of the TV and two front facing speakers. The TV alone boasts an impressive 2.1.2 speaker system and it is levels beyond anything I've ever tested in a TV. It definitely improves the speaker setup and it is hands down the best sound experience you'll get from a TV on the market. I'm not saying go and throw your soundbar and surround sound system in the bin yet, but this speaker setup on the U8H does offer enough to produce some great sound quality. Lastly, this Hisense U8H model includes Vita 6, and it goes without saying that it works very well. It comes with all the apps you'll need and even Apple TV Plus, which is a new addition on the platform. The experience is snappy, apps stayed alive in the background, and the TV packs a robust set of settings to tweak to your liking. Hisense will also be adding Disney Plus to Vita in SA soon too. There will also be a new FIFA Plus app where you can catch live matches, replays, and highlights from the upcoming FIFA World Cup 2022. So the Hisense U8H is a premium experience at an affordable price tag. The mini LED tech is quite impressive and manages to drastically change the viewing experience thanks to its superb peak brightness. I can't stress enough how excellent things look thanks to the backlight on this TV. I honestly, I honestly can't go back to normal LEDs after this experience. It is truly revolutionary. Sure, you'll never get rid of Bloom, but Hisense has definitely proven that they can make the brightest TV around. The company also added some great speakers to this TV and combined it with the elegant design. Together, you have an impressive product. 
So those are my thoughts on the Hisense UH. I'm going to leave all the links in the description where you can pick this TV up and find out more. I'll also leave the links down below where you can watch the U6H and U7H reviews. I also have more Hisense reviews coming up in the next few weeks, so please do like and subscribe so you don't miss out. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, farewell.